Abraham. My understanding of your teachings is that thought stimulates vibrations, which stimulates emotion, which thought, stimulates... The thought is vibration. Okay. Which, which stimulates thought again. Okay. Uh, and you said that creation requires no action and that the evidence will reveal itself. So here's my question. Those, that, that's mostly right. Thought, thought, and vibration are one and the same. And a practiced thought is a practiced vibration that equals a point of attraction. And if you keep it up for a little while, then it becomes the reality. But it's, the vibration is where you're wanting to put the emphasis, and we are too. Mm -hmm. So most people would like enough uh, monthly passive income to pay for their survival expenses in our modern day world so they can be free to express their creativity and fulfill their deepest desires unhindered by the motives of others and money doesn't grow on trees it only comes from other people and the only way to get money from other people is to either steal it or to create value which people will pay for so if people just sit on the couch thinking about what they desire the money and asking for the money and giving off the vibrations and feeling the emotion of receiving that money that which they ask for but they take no action to create any value which people will pay for then how is their income and money just going to come to them if they take no action well the flawed premises that you just spewed are abundant there <laughs> and first first here's the biggest assumption that you are making that as we resolve it it will be easier to hear everything else the first really major flawed premise in what you spoke here is that value only comes from action and it's interesting that we found you in this crowd right on the heels of this uh, soliloquy that we were just offering here because everything that we just were spewing for the last several minutes was about the value the enormous value of hooking up with the energy that creates worlds what is economy anyway in other words who gets to decide that what you do for an app for our living is only worth eight dollars an hour and while what that one does for a living is worth fifty dollars an hour and while that one does for a living is worth ten thousand or ten million dollars an hour who gets to define that value anyway it's not very well defined is it and yet to, to listen to what you were saying there it made it sound like that's all been stabilized and it isn't in other words where did your economy come from just a few hundred years ago you, on, on this continent you were trading beads and shells and a little bit of minerals that was your basis Jerry talked about the gold standard he remembers when the gold standard was $35 an ounce the gold standard and everything was supposed to be sort of measured against that gold standard who th there there are no standards like that that remain consistently who gets to define value you're going to come around to understanding that the only true value that you can ever reap the reward from or experience the benefit of is the the value of alignment with this energy that creates worlds what kind of monetary value do you put on that do you ever hear anyone say well I've been so well for so many years and there are so many people out there who are sick and I've been using up all the wellness value for so long that I've decided that I'm going to be sick for a while to allow more sick people to be well because I've been getting more of my than my fair share of wellness you never say that because that value you don't you don't see it as a pile of something that can be divvied out you accept that as a vibrational relationship in some way you, you haven't really defined it humans say well that that one's just unlucky in sickness and that one's just lucky in wellness but it's not like that at all there is a, a vibrational abundance that is being realized by some and denied by others but they are all doing it to themselves you see there's not a big pile of resources that you're divvying up somebody didn't set the monetary fiscal standard for the universe and there it all is out there and now you have to steal it or trade it that that is so old news 
this is a vibrational reality that you are moving into and it is thought and alignment who do you think was paid for this earth that is now congealed and spinning in its orbit who who was paid for that who who scraped that value together and who was paid for it and who tends for it in its in its orbit in other words there are so many things that you can't begin to explain through a platform like the one that you just presented to us here and that platform is not serving anyone at all you see mm -hmm. so now we get while you got in other words this is common wisdom in other words what there isn't anything that you said you didn't just make it up a whole lot of people believe that but now read it to us again and we're going to pick it apart line by line so that you can feel what we're getting at just okay. start again okay my understanding of your teachings is that thought stimulates vibrations which all right so now we've amended that thought and vibration thought is vibration and and law of attraction brings more thought to it so so when I think this thought and I hold the frequency of it for as little as 17 seconds another thought like it is going to join it and you're calling that stimulation of thought and we say yes when you keep a vibration going law of attraction is going to make it bigger and bigger and bigger uh -huh. whether it's something wanted or unwanted it will get bigger by focus to it and, and so you don't have to do anything you can just sit you there have to and focus. sit in a chair and focus like but, this and money's gonna come but wait now wait now wait don't get there too soon focus focus but focus is doing something focus is harnessing the energy that creates worlds in other words that's like saying you don't have to do anything you just have to focus and then the world will come into being somebody did something somebody did something somebody focused focus has value continue Okay. so <clears throat> in other words can you get what we're getting at for don't discount you're saying I'm just gonna sit and do nothing well focusing you can sit and focus out of the vortex and your life won't change at all you can sit and focus in the vortex and your life will change magnificently so so, it, so focus can mean physically doing something with your hands and with your you know moving around right it doesn't just mean do nothing the power of your mind is the only power that matters and all the other stuff you do is just for the pleasure of enhancing what you've really done with your mind and all the real power is the focus and for you to call that nothing could not be further from accurate okay okay we are enjoying this we want you to enjoy it too I oh I'm loving it very much enjoying it. okay so uh, continuing uh, most people would like enough passive income but because we live in a modern day all world. right so passive passive income means this is this is our interpretation of passive income we agree that everyone would like it and here's what it is mm -hmm. passive income is alignment with my vortex with such consistency that the abundance that I seek is bucking no resistance current at all mm -hmm. so it's flowing effortlessly effortlessly into my experience mm -hmm. so let's stick the word effort in here because Esther just noticed it on the Orlando twice monthly that she was editing yesterday and she was so thrilled about it that she put it up on the blog that effort is only ever applied outside the vortex in other words effort is always trying to push against something effort is only required when there is resistance when there is no resistance no effort is required so let's put the word effort in here so so when you when you say passive passive income meaning I want income that flows without constant renewed effort and what we're telling you is you get in the vortex where you get to reap the benefit of the dreams that you've dreamed and in your absence of resistance it will flow to you the ultimate of passive income mm -hmm. the ultimate of passive income but instead of calling it passive income let's call it passive energy which will bring passive income flowing through me flowing through me flowing through me effortless resistance less you only need effort when there's resistance for example pushing your car uphill much more work than pushing your car downhill in fact you don't even have to push your car downhill your car will go downhill without effort uphill a different story same thing may I be more specific with my particular life situation well we want you to read through this okay sure 
and fill fill in where you want to but okay. but let's start again at that last sentence and let's go over it again so pe people would like that that income to pay for their survival expenses that they need in a civil world like shelter home you know food water so you, you need income for those things all right so so we'll accept the the necessity of this money but what we're really talking about is how to line up with the flow in other words how do I line up with the flow you don't have to justify why you need it how do I line up with the flow and the way you line up with the flow is through living life you you said I want some for this and I want some for this and I want some for this and when you ask it is given in other words the all cooperative co components have already been assembled so when you find a way of no longer being uncooperative now this money flows to you in a passive non-effort easy ease and flow way and apply it wherever you want it it will flow that we we were speaking just a little bit ago about how interesting it is to watch humans comparing their experiences in other words someone can write a song that will flow to them in a matter of of a minute or so in fact the really good ones do come like that and they can produce it and make so much money where a person applying themselves at their endeavor only got a fraction of an hour's worth of work done in other words the, the comparison between the application of life in those two instances is unfathomable the relationship difference you see what we're getting at mm -hmm. it's not about the action that you offer it's about the alignment with the dream it's about the alignment with the real resource we're, we're talking about tapping into the energy that creates worlds and flowing it through your experience and and a really good place to start is to look around at the at the vast differences in the way people are living their lives haven't the people that are working the hardest in terms of action are receiving the least and the people who are working the least are receiving the most how do you reconcile that most don't most just say that sucks most just say there's injustice most just say let's take the pile and pie and split it up again let's take the pie and split it up again let's take the pie and split it up again and it does not matter how many times you split that pie up it will move into the vibrational places where law of attraction puts it in other words you just can't orchestrate it through action it is a vibrational attraction or allowance that it is all about continue just a little bit okay so uh, people want this income I, I believe so that they can be free to express their creativity and and fulfill their their deepest desire their uh, their source all right so people want it so that they will feel better you say they want it so that they can satisfy this and this and this they what they want is alignment and alignment brings money and what you're saying is they want the money so that they can then observe be alignment free. and we say they want the alignment which will bring the money they want the alignment what they want is the alignment what you want is to be in love what you want is to take a walk and feel your heart soaring what you want is for music to move through your body what you want is to be alive and brilliant and and have good timing what you want is to be clever what you want is to love these are the things that you want what you want is alignment all the other stuff is irrelevant and when you go for alignment first then all the other trappings have to fill in around it it is law okay so the, the, the point of the whole entire question is just simply trying to understand how you can create what you what you desire without taking physical action and what we're saying is you've already created it with all that you've been living and it's waiting for you offering a signal and all you have to do is hone in on that signal and you can tell when you're honing in because you're feeling better and you can tell when you're getting closer because you're feeling lighter and you can tell when you've really honed in because you believe and you can tell when you consistently honed in because you know you just know life is good and you just know you're stable and you just expect it to be good and now you're moving through life doing the action which is delicious doing the action that supports your knowledge of well-being in other words oh you'll get tuned in and you won't cease to act we promise you when you're tuned into the energy that creates worlds the inspiration to call this person and go there the inspiration will flow through you you'll be the busiest most active person that you've ever known in your life but the inspiration comes first and inspires the action the action doesn't create